Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, again, super, super excited. I have gotten so excited when I get these Sassy Girl Aroma boxes. And this, I think, is called, like, her Cubic Box. It did come UPS, so that's how you know there's a lot, a lot of goodies in this box, which I'm not complaining. But I love Sassy Girl Aroma. She easily has jumped up into my top five vendors for sure. I will do a top five vendors video soon. I do also want to say I've been really thinking about making more candle videos. And I know I said some candles don't give me a strong throw, but I definitely travel a lot and I burn candles when I travel and I have a lot of luxury candles like Diptyque, Byredo, Le Labo, Melon and Getz and I really want to share some more candles on my channel like I used to back in the day. So let me know, comment down below if you like my candle content. I definitely am thinking I would do some more of those too. I also have some Sassy Girl Aroma candles that I'm really curious. They're still sitting and curing. I think they're ready now but I definitely want to try them. But anyway back to sassy girl aroma as always i get her business card and this is her new updated business card i love her logo it's like this etched woman that's like penciled it, it's really really cute really like it and tyrell and julie are the owners of sassy girl aroma and as always i got two samples and from the hauls i've been watching it looks like everybody got these two samples the first one is jingleberry wreath and i'm with everybody else it's not my favorite it's very it has something in it that i'm not super fond of i'll have to look up the notes but it kind of has like a it's like a sharp scent i'm not exactly sure on what it is, Jingleberry Wreath. I assume it's like kind of like a pine scent. I'm not sure. I'm not a huge fan of that one. But this one, I love. This is Mellow Lavender. And I'm trying to get a little bit more into lavender fragrances. And this is really nice. It slightly reminds me of the Lavender Marshmallow Candle from Bath and Body Works. It's just a little bit more of that herbal lavender, which I, I absolutely adore. I love lavender at night and I think, even though this is a little one, and I typically use a little bit more than this melting at night, I think I'll pop this in my bathroom soon. I typically save the samples until I see them offered in a pre-order. That way it's like enough time of cure time, and then I'm like, ooh, that's offered. Let me pop this in the warmer in the bathroom and see what I think. The last one I just did that with was Huckleberry Beach, so I definitely placed an order with that pre-order. And super disclaimer, I only ordered six brittles in that, so I thought that was pretty, pretty good. But anyway, back to the video. I only ordered, only, I ordered two loaves and I ordered, I think, 20 brittles. The first loaf I've had before, this is IHOP. Now, what I'm doing with my brittles, is I, or the loaves, is I am double bagging them because I find that I don't really reach for my loaves as much as brittles and I store them next to each other. So I like, especially IHOP is such a strong scent, I decided to put it in a separate bag. But if you're unfamiliar with IHOP, it's pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup, brown sugar, caramel, and coffee. Think of it as a much more rich pumpkin pecan waffles, which I love my pumpkin pecan waffles and this, 10 out of 10. It's so good. It's so strong. I have it in the perfume back there, which if you look, these guys right here I've talked about before, those are Sassy Girl Aroma perfumes. I love the Sassy Girl Aroma perfumes. I'll do a very in-depth video on them after I've used them for a little bit longer to really understand, especially in the summertime. I tend to not gravitate towards wearing fragrance as much, especially like richer, deeper fragrances. So I'm ordering some fresh scents from her to see. But anyway, the other one I do not have in a loaf, but I have in brittles and I also have it in a perfume and it is Santos Royale, which is Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Marshmallow. Love this. This is like that other famous blend from another vendor. It's really rich, cozy. The Palo Santo is so just smooth and creamy with the toasted marshmallow. Mm, it's perfection. I love this scent. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend it. Never can get enough Santos Royale. Now on to the brittles. I, I think a little less than half of my brittles came broken, but for the most part they came in good condition. This one is the only one where like you see there's a couple like tiles of the top that kind of fell off but other than that 
it's pretty good. This, I mean, on the back. And I do put my little sticker on arrived on date. So I know this is arrived on March 15th. And this one is Addison. This is Blackberry Sugared Peonies. I love peony. And this is so pretty. The blackberry in here kind of leans towards perfumey blackberry. But I like that because it's with the peony. And peony is a bright floral fragrance. So... It's so pretty. This is going to be so nice in the spring. The peony is like a floppy, big pink peony with that blackberry. Mm, it's so pretty. The next one, I love the color of this brittle. I'm obsessed. This is No Strings Attached. Boysenberries, elderberries, strawberries, guava, and pomegranate, vanilla, and zucchini. So like a super warm. This is good. I definitely smell zucchini. It's definitely in there. Boysenberries and elderberries, interesting, because those are more warmer berry scents, like more deep and dark, almost like syrupy fragrances. And I don't say that like it's like necessarily syrup, but they are more deep and dark, so they do lean towards like that syrup. Yeah, oh, that's yummy. It's like a rich, warm bakery zucchini bread and this was in March so in like July when I'm craving fall scents that's gonna make it on the list this one is pretzel rack cinnamon pretzel and vanilla icing this is so good this the cinnamon sugar it's so realistic cinnamon sugar, like you just made it yourself. You took some cinnamon, you took some sugar, put it in a bowl, mix it together, and you're getting ready to sprinkle it on your toast. But ditch the toast and get a warm, warm pretzel. Yeasty pretzel. And then that vanilla icing like you dip in. And if you're thinking cinnamon pretzel vanilla icing, yes, it smells like you're in line at Auntie Anne's waiting for a cinnamon sugared pretzel. Or you're waiting for a regular pretzel and the cinnamon sugar pretzels are being made and the whole entire place smells like this warm, rich pretzel. And lately, I have been loving pretzel and baked bread, any of those like yeasty scents, because when you put them in the warmer, it almost is the most realistic when you put it in the warmer because you figure when you bake something, when you bake it and you have heat hit it, it the scent permeates. And I feel like it does the same with the, with the fragrance there. It's, mm, it's so good. This one is Throw in the Towel. I love this I love this scent. I love this name. It's Fresh Dried Towels. Plain and simple. And I ordered this because I love my fluffy towels. And this is supposed to be a dupe for the fluffy towels type from Yankee, I believe. It's not the same. It's okay. I'm not 100%. It might not be a dupe. But it's definitely not. It's more sweet. But it still smells like fresh, clean laundry which I always love. I love melting these scents when I know I'm not going to be home for, like, not necessarily home for a couple days, but not home where I'm going to be changing the warmers a lot, where I'm in and out of the house, especially in the summer. So I feel like those scents are great to walk in and out of the house, and then the house just smells clean and fresh. This one, Soothing Latte. Look at how beautiful. This is like one of the most beautiful brittles. I don't like to take them out because then it gets waxy on the seal and sometimes it's hard to zip it up. But this is beautiful. And I just watched Natalie's video. If you're not subscribed to Natalie, Melt With Nat and Jack, love her. Love her videos. She's such a sweet and kind person. And this is Caramel Latte, Sweet Lavender, and Birthday Cake, which is very interesting. I, I'm very much getting into lavender bakery scents. This is nice. It is a coffee scent, but very, very light. Almost like those gas station lattes or those cappuccinos where it's mostly cream and sugar with just a hint of coffee. It's the vibe that I get from this. And then you smell that lavender and it is a sweet lavender. Almost leans towards body care. And the creamy, like rich bakery birthday cake. Oh, this is so comforting and just delicious really really a good blend and like i said i'm obsessed with the colors it kind of gives me halloween vibes i really like like the neon green and the brown it's a winner this one is the hunt is on and this is sweet creamy vanilla strawberry banana and sugar i love myself a strawberry banana blend 
And this is what it smells like. It smells like a strawberry banana smoothie. No more, no less. It smells like a strawberry banana smoothie. And to be honest, it's very realistic banana because I have a Vitamix, I make smoothies almost every day, and when you're making the smoothie and you're adding the ingredients in, you can smell it as it's like pulverizing and blender, blenderizing, pulverizing and blending, and that smells just like you you put your face over the blender when it was made. Oh, the banana. Mm. I love banana in wax. I love bananas in real life. I love banana flavoring. I love everything about banana. So good. Next is Shy Girl, and I'm so excited she poured this. I saw somebody talk about this on her Facebook group. I can't remember exactly who, but the colors are beautiful. It really gives me Easter vibes. The, like, pastel orange, pink, and light purple. And it is Neroli Orange Blossom and Marshmallow. Neroli is, like... And when it says Neroli Orange Blossom, it is a very... It's a very orange blossom heavy... If you smelled the frozen bath bomb from Lush, that's Neroli. And Neroli is a very, very white floral. Because it's orange blossom, it's not orange fruit. It's not, this is not fruity. It is floral. But with the marshmallow, it kind of creams it up a little bit and makes it just a tad just beautiful. If you're not a floral lover, I don't think you're going to like this because it definitely leans on, like, white floral. But added with the marshmallow is perfection. Next, we have Suki, which is my favorite character from the Gilmore Girls. That was Melissa McCarthy. That's how I first remember seeing Melissa McCarthy on TV and fell in love with her. And this says, smells like a baker's kitchen with sweet batter and vanilla ac extract with fresh baked cookies. So kind of like a cookie dough scent without being like chocolate chip cookie. It's very light, I will say. It's very light. But I tend to find that these type of scents are light. But... I did a week of Sassy Girl Aroma. I need to film that empties video. I sprinkled some other vendors in there, but mostly Sassy Girl Aroma and her throw. I can see why Sassy Girl is like everybody's absolute favorite vendor. Her throw is out of this world. And I'm hoping that after a little bit of cure time, this comes out because it does, it smells like sugar cookie dough. 100%, but really realistic, so it's not super strong. Because you know whenever you're baking cookies, like when you bake them, I talked about earlier, when it's in the oven, like the scent really comes out, but when it's in the bowl, it's not nearly as strong. That's sort of what vibe that gives me. The, oh, I ordered two, never mind, I ordered two of two. I ordered two Huckleberry Zucchini. I had to. I love the scent of Huckleberry, and this is Zucchini, Cotton Candy, and Huckleberry. Interesting with the cotton candy, but I don't really smell it. It smells like huckleberry and zucchini bread. I love zucchini bread. It's just such a guilty pleasure scent for me. And I think it's because when you add salt to something, you know, it makes it more savory. And it makes you want more of it. And that's how this is. It makes me want more of it. And when I put it in the warmer, any zucchini blend, it just makes you want more. And this is 100%. It makes me want more. I love the zucchini bread. And the huckleberry, like I said before, is like a warm, warm, rich bakery scent. Or fruity scent. So good. This one is I'll Get By With Bread. And this is cornbread, birthday cake, zucchini bread, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. So a lot going on in here. And I need to melt her cupcakes at Tiffany's. Everybody raves about it. It's good on cold, but like I feel like I need to experience Cupcakes at Tiffany's warm. I don't know what I'm smelling. I definitely am not smelling cornbread or zucchini bread off the bat. Honestly, I'm not really smelling it at all the more that I smell it. I'm smelling birthday cake and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. So I wonder, and this one broke, so I'll take this little piece out. It's pretty. Um, yeah, I'm only getting... Like, birthday cake, cupcakes at Tiffany's. Cornbread and zucchini bread are very similar, but... Yeah, I'm not getting a ton of that on cold. So, once it's warmed, you'll see my video, but... It's a good one. I like the colors, but I definitely want to warm that up and see how that transforms. Ooh, I'm getting lower in the box. This one is Laundry Today, Naked Tomorrow. 
Vanilla Lavender, Island Fresh Gain, Pink Sugar, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I'm ordering all the laundry scents because they're out of my comfort zone. This is nice. It definitely smells the most like that scent from the Melted Mousse that I talk about how much I love out to dry, how it smells like a dryer. This is probably the closest to it, but I definitely smell the lavender and the pink sugar. So it's like that scent with added lavender and pink sugar. Not a bad thing by any means. Yeah, it's good. I like it. I like it a lot. Laundry scents, like I said, for me, it's after I melt a lot of bakery is when I will mix in a little bit of um, laundry the next day just so I can experience, like, getting a clearer nose. Now, these two are two different names, two different colors, but they have the same description. I did reach out to... Um, Julie, and she said this one is a mistake label, so I'll do this one next. But the first one is Toasty Nights, and this is Toasted Coconut Donuts, Toasted Marshmallows, Sea Salt Breeze, and S'mores. So is that what, Beach Nights? I always mess up Beach Nights. This is good. It's not my favorite Beach Nights blend. Just because it's to like the coconut, even though it says Toasted Coconut, it's leaning a little bit towards like body care or sunscreeny. And that's not my favorite scent. I like baked coconut. So when I saw toasted coconut, I was excited, but it leans a little bit more towards like that summery coconut. I'll melt it for sure, but I just want to try it. Now this one is toasted in lace. So it's donuts, toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, and s'mores mixed with vanilla lace, which is a Victoria's Secret dupe. And that's pretty. It's really pretty. I will say, I don't get the vanilla lace super heavy in here. I'm getting more like that salty sea air or that sea salt breeze note. Yeah, I'm not really sure. It definitely does not smell like... Yeah, it doesn't smell like vanilla lace. But that's what's in here, she said, so... I'm not 100% sure. It's very, it's very, like, sea salt breeze heavy. I am trudging away. All right, this is the other one that I ordered two of, and I ordered this one because Angela Thrasher here on YouTube, love her for the love of scents, raves about this scent. And one did come with a big hole in the back of the bag, so I did double bag it. The other one did come pretty broken. But this guy is out of the bread box. And this is Pretzel Latte Vanilla Bean Noel. So pretzel, coffee, and vanilla bean Noel. This is good. It is a very yeasty pretzel. So if you're not into like the hard pretzel scent, you I don't think you'll like this. It's definitely that much more yeasty, doughy pretzel mixed with coffee. It's really yummy though. And I at first did not like that scent oil if you watch videos previously, but when I melted it, it was an L3 blend. When I melted it, it transformed. And that's when I fell in love with that yeasty pretzel oil. Because when you melted it, it truly came alive like you're literally making pretzels. It's fantastic. So, out of the bread box, really excited to melt that one. This one is Purity. And this is Sweet Strawberry Ripe Bananas Creamy Zucchini and Moist Frosted Birthday Cake. Interesting. I don't know what would be the difference between Moist Frosted Birthday Cake and Birthday Cake. If you guys know the difference, let me know. This smells like strawberry birthday cake, or strawberry zucchini bread, but it's very mellow. I was expecting strawberry banana zucchini bread to be really, really strong, but it's definitely toned down. Almost like, which, I don't know how good this would be in real life, like taking a zucchini bread but adding slices of strawberries into it. I, I don't think I would like that personally, like eating it, but smelling it wise, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of zucchini bread fresh out of the oven with freshly sliced strawberries on top. Not like a strawberry jam or anything because the strawberry is very mellow in this one. This one is Blueberry Disneyland and we know we love our charity and charity loves Disneyland and I love Disneyland too so seeing these colors makes me excited and it's Disneyland which is pineapple, orange, strawberry, cotton candy, lemonade and whipped cream mixed with blueberry. So very, very fruity. And that's exactly how I describe it. 
just a very, very fruity scent. And the blueberry in here is like a blueberry jam. It's definitely very realistic blueberry, but not blueberry bakery, blueberry jam. So it's a very fresh blueberry. And I almost feel like when you make the blueberry jam, because blueberries naturally aren't blue, besides the skin, I feel like a blueberry jam wouldn't be as dark blue. So I feel like that's like what this captures. Mixed with that like pineapple cotton candy deliciousness of Disneyland. I really, really like that one. And then we have Alibaba. And this is pretzel green apple. Oh, I need to double bag this one. This one is ripped too. Pretzel, green apple, salted caramel, and marshmallow. And I thought this would be perfect to be putting in the fall. It's again that super yeasty pretzel dough that's in out of the bread box. And when you see green apple, caramel, and marshmallow, do not think Cider Lane. This does not smell like Cider Lane. I love Cider Lane, but I know a lot of you don't. It does not smell like Cider Lane. It smells like green apple, and I think the sea salt, salted caramel mixed with pretzel, you are kind of getting the salt from both, so I'm not sure which salty note I'm smelling, but it's definitely a salty note. Oh, that is good. That is really good. Really excited about that one. I'm going to put this to the side because it needs rebag. And then the last brittle bag that I, or brittle bag, brittle I got is Rolling Pin. I saw someone on her Facebook group got like 15 of these. So I'm like, oh God, I'm excited. And this is pretty simple. Pumpkin pecan waffle, sugar cookie dough, and birthday cake. You know me, love my pumpkin pecan waffles. That's good. It just smells like a very super sweet, super yummy pumpkin pecan waffles really really good this one cracked a little bit too so but I will say less than half came broken so that made me happy and there is one more thing left in the box that I saved for the end because I'm very excited about it this is a brand new product from Julie and it is squeezable wax when she talked about this in her Facebook group I was super interested I'm like squeezable wax like I need to know more so essentially from what I understand, it's scoopable wax. But what do a lot of us complain about with scoopable wax? Well, we love how strong it is with the spoon when you put it in your warmers and getting it on your fingers, it's messy. So she came up with squeezable wax. So you break this seal off. It's definitely like safety sealed. I'll see if I can break it off right now. Yeah, so take the seal off struggling a little bit. Maybe if I just twist it off. Okay. So taking that off. Oh my God. I can smell it right through the nozzle. This looks weird. <laughs> um, and this is in Santos Royale. So I have it in brittles. I have it in loaves. I have it in perfume. So I'm pretty sure, pretty safe to say I love that scent and I want to experiment it in the squeezable, but it essentially, I'll have to cut these little flares off because it's not like ripping off, but it's essentially like scoop of wax, but you can just squeeze it so you're not getting it all over your fingers or anything. Super intrigued by this formula. It's also really fun to play with. I know I watched Ashley Overly's video and she was talking about it and it's like, oh, this is fun to squeeze. So yeah, really, really excited about this. It's 6.4 ounces of wax and yeah, squeeze me melts. So really, really intrigued on these. I'll definitely let you guys know what I think. And she is offering these in her next pre-order on March 25th. So that'll open not this coming Friday, but the following Friday. So definitely keep an eye out. She's going to be offering some more in the squeezables. So that was my video. Thank you all so much for watching and taking the time out of your day. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, please subscribe to my channel. If Hit that notification bell down below. Oh my gosh, I got those backwards. If you're new, welcome and hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on notifications that way every time I upload here on YouTube, you're alerted. And if you are returning subscribe returning subscriber. Thank you all so much for continuing the love and support. I love you all so much and I'll talk to you guys soon. Be kind and make it a better world.